morning. Is the mic on? Pick it up. Okay. I've been. My name is Eric Milam. Uh, I'm one of Jerry's kids, and I've been asked to come up and talk to you about the. Uh, how you doing? I'm good. good to see you. Oh, that's much better. Uh, I've been asked to talk to you about the personal ministry, uh, the end of it that I've been working on a bit here. And uh, we actually have uh, done quite a bit of work on the web page and the, uh, the social media portion of it. Gabrielle was going to come up and, and tell you about all about the Facebook end of things and what she's been doing. <clears throat> but, um, and she was my wingman, but she's not here right now. So you got me. Sorry. Uh, okay. I guess we'll go ahead and get started. Oh, did you want to? Did you want to say anything? Okay. 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 Uh, here goes. The internet is an awful place. It's full of hackers and uh, identity theft and invasion of privacy and pretty much every form of debauchery known to man. But those law cats and Facebook updates are great, aren't they? I. Uh, and as long as you, you know, you wear your, your tinfoil helmet and you keep your, your antivirus updated, you're going to be fine, right? Well, it's not some all-you-can-eat buffet of sin. It's not really what people think of it to be. It can be a very powerful tool in the right hands. And uh, the main issue that we look at is that uh, the problem exists between chair and keyboard. The computer is just a dumb tournament that uh, as someone does the data entry on. A series of wires and electrons flowing over them. If you want to, if you want to put it in other terms, uh, you could blame Ma Bell and the telephone lines for someone giving you a, a blessing on the other end. It's as simple as that. Now, Daniel 12 tells us that at the time of the end, knowledge, knowledge is going to be increased. And that's never been more true than this day with the access to information that we have set with, the, with the advent of the internet. So what does that mean for a, a small church and its congregation? Well, I've been over a little bit of a personal uh, exodus. You all know that I, I was gone for about a year. And uh, in that time, I was trying to find a church that's, that would meet my requirements, which essentially meant that uh, you know, they didn't have any rock and roll in the halls. They, didn't, uh, they had a, a respectful and uh, reverent service. And they just don't exist. And coming back, it's, it, it was near and dear to me to get this message out to the world. And uh, so that's why I devoted uh, the bulk of my spare time lately to updating the, the uh, the ministry's online presence, and uh, just wanted to show you guys real quick a little bit of what, what we've been doing. If you go to the Plymouth Sorrento Church .org website, I don't know if any of you have ever been there before, but it's, uh, it's got a new media tab. If you go here, you can see that for low bandwidth applications, you can open the audio sermons, which are available in MP3 format. And this goes back as far as 2011. And you can just click on one of these. And you can download to your phone or to your computer in audio format, but we also have the entire YouTube channel that we have embedded in this nice little playlist right here. You can, you can send the link to your friends, and this is, this is a little bit stale. We have to update from last, last week's, but I try and keep it as fresh as possible. And the latest sermon will be the first to play, but if, if you go here to the playlist, you can see all the sermons that are available. And these go back to about November of last year. So 
There's that, and you can always go to the, to the YouTube channel that's been set up. Those are also available there, and you can add discussions, and, and uh, this is all linked from our uh, Facebook page as well. And that's all in the, the handout there, if you take a look. Um, all the information will be right there. So um, I think that this can, be a, this can be a very powerful tool. And we can, we can make that absolutely true. And go into all the world. And uh, internet memes, <coughs> excuse me, internet memes, and if you don't know what that means, uh, something that's popular on the internet, doesn't go viral all by itself. It requires people sharing it. It requires contact. It requires you going into your email and sending it out. You don't have to, you don't have to Facebook and you don't have to Twitter and you don't have to YouTube to know any of any of that to be able to forward an email. And if uh, if any of you have any questions, uh, find someone who's under 30 and they'll be glad to help you with that. <laughs> or just send an email to the Plymouth Sorrento Church. To the <laughs> hey. It's true. Look, I, I support people, so I know exactly what it's like. And uh, I recently got my folks uh, smartphones. I don't know if you know this or not, but that's been a challenge in and of itself as well. So if I can get them on a smartphone, I can help any one of you. That's for sure. Love you. Anyway, um, so please help this, uh, this media ministry by going and sharing. Thank you. Have you been encouraged by what you're hearing? Yes. You know that Wednesday evening when I, no, Sabbath morning actually, when I had the conversation with Eric, I never dreamed that our, our web ministry would be this, this advanced and this organized. And I just want to encourage and affirm him and express my appreciation because he's really done a wonderful job. You know, the truth isn't doing us any good if it just stays within these four walls. Yeah. God is calling all of us to evangelism and to do what we can. You know, here it is in an easy to use format on the internet. You can share um, different sermons that have been a blessing to you with different people. I don't know if everyone has gotten a, a flyer yet, a handout with the contact information. Yes, I see some heads nodding, okay, good. On there, you know, is the information, ways to contact us and also ways to access the sermons. And, you know, on the, the top of that list there, I have number one, I think is evangelism. That's the primary goal of this ministry. Number two is our long distance church. You know, there's some people who aren't gonna feel comfortable coming to a church, but that doesn't mean that they shouldn't have an opportunity to hear the truth. And so that's another way that they could be reached. And then number three, you know, we, we have a lot of older members in our congregation and sometimes people can't get out to church. So it's important that they have the blessing of hearing these powerful, truth-filled messages and also feeling a sense of connection to their church family. God bless. Have a wonderful Sabbath. <laughs>